going to see example on 3d cartesian vector the question is express the force as a cartesian vector well um force if with a magnitude of 500 newton is in space so um it's located at 60 degree from the negative x-axis and 60 degree from the positive axis we are asked to express this force in cartesian vector with i j k form well uh, looking to the problem um, gamma is given which is 60 degree but here we have also 60 degree from the x-axis from the negative x-axis but this is not alpha um, in in uh, a 3d cartesian vector the problem may be given in coordinate direction angle or in um, transverse and azimuth um, angles so this question is um, given in coordinate direction angles alpha beta and gamma alpha is the angle between positive x-axis and um, the vector f and beta is the angle between the positive y-axis and the vector f and gamma is the angle between the positive z-axis and f gamma is given but alpha is not given simply but looking to the problem we can calculate alpha so beta is not given alpha can be calculated because from the positive um, x-axis up to the positive uh, no sorry from the positive x-axis to the negative x-axis is 180 degree so 60 is given from the negative x-axis so st starting from the positive up to the vector will be 180 degree minus 60 degree so this will be 120 degree alpha is 120 degree but beta is not given how to calculate beta well you need vector of any position vector is equals to cos alpha i plus cos beta j plus cos gamma k so uh, you can um, uh, see this in a 3d cartesian vector on my video so because the value of any unit vector is one we can have an important um, relationship of the cosine angles uh, cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equals to one so clearly from this formula if two um, direction angles are given the third one can be determined you think cos square 120 which means cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square 60 degree which is cos square gamma is equal to 1 so cos beta is equal to square root of 1 minus 0 0.5 square minus 0 0.5 square so this will be plus or minus 0 0.707 therefore beta has two possibility either it can be cos inverse of 0 0.707 which is 45 or it can be cos inverse of negative 0 0.707 which is 135 degree by looking to this problem the force f is directed in the positive y axis so most probability this can be 45 degree from the positive x axis now you think the formula f is equal to f cos alpha i plus f cos beta j plus f cos gamma k remember this formula is a cartesian form of expression of any vector if it is given in direct uh, coordinate direction angles so substituting the value to f 500 so this will be 500 cos 120 degree newton in the i direction plus 500 cos 45 degree newton in the day in the j direction plus 500 cos 60 degree newton in the k direction so finally the vector force can be expressed in cartesian form as 
negative 250i plus 353.5j plus 250 kN. This is the final answer for the question. So, we can check whether the angle we have um, chosen for beta by using uh, from this Cartesian vector form of f, fx is negative 250 newton, fy is 353.55, fd is equal to 250 newton. So, you think this formula f is equal to square root of fx square plus fy square plus fd square, substituting the values, this will be 500 newton.